Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger here. It is time for another quick build. This time it's gonna be Shen. He was the winner from the last quick build voting. If you wanna vote for the next quick build, obviously make sure you head down to the link in the description where you can vote for the next quick build. Also make sure to stick around till the end of the video because I'll be giving away more products from Phoenix. As for Shen's abilities, at level one, you're gonna to wanna to put a point into your Vorpal Blade. Typically at level two, I like to put a point into my Shadow Dash. That's your taunt, very helpful there too. Level three, typically put a point back into Vorpal Blade. What we're gonna do is max out Vorpal Blade. It's good poke, harass, and actually pretty easy for lasting minions if you even need to use it for that while in lane. Make sure you do put an early point into your W ability, which is of course your shield. Now as for maxing out your last two abilities, kinda of comes down to preference. If you want shorter cooldowns on your dash and that taunt, you can do that. Or, if you want to put more points into your shield and get it a little bit beefier, I, typically that's what I will do. I will do that as well. Obviously, put points into your ultimate, stand united at levels 6, 11, and 16. As for the rune page that I do take when I'm playing Shen, um, sometimes I'll actually take my hybrid page. Now, because typically you build physical damage on Shen, although he scales from AP, you really don't want to build any AP on him. It's not really what you're needing for your damage. So what we'll actually do is we'll take the hybrid penetration marks, therefore you get the best of both worlds, get the armor seals, we take magic resist per level glyphs, and then on quintessences, I still have the hybrid penetration ones, but you could take some different ones. There's a few choices here. You could take the health ones, or health regen, or movement speed. Really, there's multiple options here that work well. Figure out what works well for your Shen. As for the Masteries page that I take when I'm playing Shen, I take two different ones. They're usually very, very similar, though. What we do is we take a few points in offense and typically max out our defense because Shen does best just being in the front and being in people's face. What we're going to do is put a couple points in the offense just to get some cooldown reduction over there. If you want to put four points into that, that's fine and take two out of the defense side. But over here, we're basically going to just focus on everything to help us get really tanky and to help resist all damage because we want to be up front taunting people and causing them not deal damage to anyone else. As for the items that I like to take when I play as Shen, now starting off, it really depends on what your lane's gonna be. If you think you can actually be um, pretty physical in the beginning, you could take a Dorn's Blade, it is possible. Um, you could also do a Dorn Shield, it's not terrible, it's just kind of a consistency thing you can do. If you really wanna start getting some health, you could pick up a Ruby Crystal, it's not terrible in some aspects. Or if you need to do the Cloth, Armor, and Pots, that will work out if you're gonna be dealing with a lot of physical damage. Early on, what you're going to want to do when you first go back is pick up a Giant's Belt, maybe the first part of your boots, and then either some Chain Vest Armor, or if you're going up against an AP top, you're going to want to pick up that Spectral's Cowl. The first few core items that you really, really want to pick up are that Sunfire Cape, the Spirit Visage, and then your boots, whether that's going to be Ninja Tabby or Merc Treads, just depending on the enemy team and who you're going up against top lane. After this point, though, you have to address how things are going. If you're ahead and you're not taking damage, you're going to want to consider picking up a Trinity Force. It'll help them out actually in all aspects with movement speed, um, more attack damage, more health, crit strike chance, health, you don't really need the mana. You also get a speed up too when you're attacking, so that's very helpful. It also helps you side push waves down a little bit too. Now, if you're going to be the full tank for your team and you just need more defense, a random omen will put you in a very, very good place. Now, a full build in a perfect world would look like this. You'll have the Sunfire Cape, the Spirit Visage, you'll have your Merc Treads, if that's what you needed. You'll have the Trinity Force, you'll then pick up your Omen, and then you'll probably finish off with something like a Blade of the Rune King for some increased damage. And you'll also be able to solo some people at this point later on in the game. Now, if you need some options, depending on how things are really going, if you want to side push better, I would consider picking up a Static Shiv instead. It can help you out with pushing those waves down quicker to take side objectives before you TP in on your team. Or if you just want to be really, really tanky, maybe drop out that Blade of the Rune King and pick up a Warmog's Armor. It's going to help you out with maximum health. You'll get more increased health regen because of the Spear Visage, and you will just be very, very tanky. Now for those of you who are smart enough to stick around to the end of the video, this has been my gear of choice for months now, and I must say, just the fit and feel and quality of their product is just super awesome, and I love it to death. And I'm happy to be able to provide the opportunity to you guys to have a chance to win some of this Phoenix gear. These are the best peripherals, in my opinion, that you can get right now too. In this week's giveaway, we're gonna be giving away a Phoenix, Nasita, and Demora. For your chance to enter into this, all you have to do is like my Facebook page and like their Facebook page, and then when there is a new picture of the Phoenix Nasita posted, all you have to do is leave me a comment on why you'd like to win one, and we will be picking one lucky winner. Take a couple seconds to click some of those links in the description to take you over so you can get all set for that giveaway. But until next time, good luck out there on the Fields of Justice.